Hello, everybody. This is Jake, your resident content cowboy here. Yeehaw. And today I'm bringing you some more auto chess and, in fact, another bad build. That's right. We're looking for another bad build here. Today's build is only using one and two cost units and seeing how far we could get. This was one that was uh, uh, people asked me to do on one of my other videos. By the way, if there are any builds you wanna see, something you think sounds fun, I would love to give it a shot. Full disclosure, <laughs> this is my third attempt at this build. So, first time I tried it, uh, dead last out in eighth place. Bye, Jake. Uh, second time I tried it, I'm gonna... My, my thought process, by the way, is I need to use Cave Clan because there are four Cave Clan units inside the one and two cost, and then probably use Warrior, maybe Beast. I'm still trying to figure it out here. Anyway, sorry. First time, eighth place. Terrible. <laughs> I just did so bad. Second time, fifth place a little better now i don't think this is a winning build but i would love to see it get top four somehow and i think i need to do a better job of riding the lost streak uh and then once i know what i'm gonna do kind of jumping off that lost train and moving to something better well i definitely want panda because he can help me find units and unicorn as well so again my thought here, I can only use one and two cost units. I can't buy anything else. And we want to see how far we can get doing that. I think I need to stay low level for a long time so I can find the units I need. But then once I have a good majority of them, at least one or two of them three starred, I have to start leveling up just so I get more units on the board and I can hopefully make another synergy or so happen. So here we are. Come along with me as we try this very, very bad build. As always, any comments, uh, I really do appreciate all the likes and comments and subscribes. Thank you guys so much for everyone who does that. It really means a lot. Wow. Did we all just see that? Did we all really watch that happen in real time? I just got an Ember Blade right away. I can't use it. It's a three-star piece. I have to sell it. <laughs> Dang it. That's a bummer. So... I uh, can't use Ember Blade. <laughs> and man, what a great start to a game that would normally be. Ember Blade right away, but here we go. Uh, we're probably going to be losing very early, and I would love to get this unit right here, Goddess of Light, because that would just help our loss streak. We might win this first one, but after this, I assume we're going to be losing a lot, so it would just be a good idea to grab our Goddess and then move on. Okay. Okay, where was I? Oh yeah, thank you for the comments and everything. If there's a build you wanna see, please let me know. You know, I wanted to talk about this a little bit. Sometimes people watch my bad build videos and they give uh, critiques about my play, which by the way, I don't, I don't mind at all. Uh, I'm happy to hear what everybody has to say. But I do think, ooh, this is interesting now. I'm gonna put this unit out here. We might win this next one. We are not going to be on a win streak, but Considering I don't have my priest, I have over 10 gold, I'm gonna just put that unit out there and see if this generates a win. If not, I'm not stressed about it either. Uh, so, some people will critique my play, saying that I could have had different synergies and such, and while that's true, with these bad builds, I kind of have a specific thing I'm going for. I know that's like kind of a cop-out to not playing better, but you know, uh, I know that there are other ways that I could have built these to had a better result. I'm not exactly looking for the absolute best result all the time. I know that these builds aren't going to be the best. This sounds weird, but you know, a while back I was I was playing games at one point. I remember talking to someone about this and I uh, was upset. You know when you play games and you're just like, ah, this match or this thing, I can't do it. And I'm, uh, blah, blah, blah. you know that feeling. Well. I remember talking to someone and they said, you know, the point of playing games is to have fun. Are you having fun or are you just doing this to sort of zone out? You know, what are you what are you accomplishing from playing this? And I thought it was a I thought it was an important moment because I went, "Ugh, you know what? You're right. I am not having fun with this. I am just kind of getting upset." And 
because of that, I, I think I think about games in a different way now. And all of this long story to just say, the reason I'm doing something like these bad builds is, I know what the meta is for this game, and I could probably win more matches if I really wanted to play it, but I also am playing to have fun. Let's sell these. Just get us up to 20 gold. We're losing now, and I think we're gonna be losing for a little while here, so if I find that priest they're going out there, uh, I'll also pick up units along the way that I think might be part of our build at some point, but in general, uh, I think we're gonna be losing. Is there anyone that we lose to? Excuse me, anyone that beats us? I don't, or doesn't beat us. <laughs> I can't say anything right. I don't think so. I think we lose to pretty much everyone we go up against right now. So I'll put these units out there and hopefully Panda will help me find some, some extra ones. But anyway, that's why I like to play a lot of different builds in this game. I'm never going to be a top player and I don't, I have no interest in being, it's it just not, it's not what I'm going to do in this game. So uh, that is why I, I build a lot of the things I do. But as far as like people going, hey, you know, it would have been good to grab this unit, da, 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 da. I love that. I love hearing it. But I just wanted to be clear as to why I'm doing this. I know it sounds nuts, but the bad builds especially, I'm just doing it for fun. I, <laughs> I have no... Uh, I put no pressure on it to be anything else. I've I've thought with this build, you know, I might turn it from, you know, like a I might go like cave mage, and that would lower, you know, the magic resistance from my opponents, and at the same time, you know, we because we've got lava shaman. I should probably put you here. We've got lava shaman, and we're gonna have sword man, and both of them benefit greatly from a. Uh, reduction in magic resistance uh or i think you know maybe it's only lava because what lava is lava is pure damage oh that's what it is lava is pure damage you know what May maybe mage doesn't help that much maybe i just need to do warrior beast i've thought about this uh, too much because it's such a bad build and there's no point in trying to figure out <laughs> how to win with one and two cost units but here we are okay um this is nobody I need or want. Uh, I'll definitely sell my mage to get us over 40 gold right here. I would really love this other priest, but I, I'm not trying to spend any money to find her this very second. I'll ride this lost streak. We're doing okay with it. We've got 40 gold. I, once I'm over 50, I am rolling and I'm trying to find all of these units. I really want cave. If I imagine this build, it's you know it's got to be cave warrior, beast probably cave warrior glacial. I'm trying to think what you can even get in the two one and two cost range. He's got my sword man. Give him back. He's my sword man. You could do knight. You could have two knights. You could have a few feathered. You know, there's just a lot that you you go. I don't know. What are you gonna do with any of these units? I might roll. Just to get our priest here in a sec. Our goddess of whatever. Mm, okay. So this, we have 50 gold. This is a, uh, oh, Tusk. Yeah, I think Tusk is going to be better than this Witcher. I'm going to put Tusk out here. And then I'll put two out here. This just gives us a beast synergy. This is a creep round. And in a creep round, actually I'll do this. In a creep round, we don't need to lose. So I can have all my units out here in a creep round. Try to win. It's okay if we lose as well, but we don't have to lose in a creep round to keep our lost streak. And I haven't done a good video on lost streaks. I should at some point. Basically, a win streak and a lost streak for people who aren't too familiar with how they work. Uh, both of them give you gold if you continue winning and you continue losing. So you can lose you know, 10 rounds in a row, as long as you can stay alive, and you will get gold for that. And just like that, um, you can win 10 rounds in a row and you get extra gold for that. I think you get up to plus three a round. Let's see, who do we got here? So Tusk could be part of our build. Abyssal Guard could be at some point. God of War kind of could be. I'll grab these, I wanna roll here. There's our goddess, so I'll drop you. 
I want Goddess out here. So, when we lose, which we will lose with this setup right here, when we lose, we get uh, a reduction in the amount of HP we are losing. Goddess reduces it by 20%. I can't use both of them for my Lost Streak, which I would do if I was going full Lost Streak normally, but I can use one of them. And now that I have over 50 gold and I've got the units I'm looking for, God of War will probably drop off my uh, bench here. And I'm just gonna start looking for all these cave units, probably these beast units as well. I could buy Warpwood Sage and level up my unicorn, but Warpwood Sage costs three. I can only buy one and two cost units. That includes all legendary eggs, that includes everybody. So yeah, I'm gonna get rid of you guys. Grab this unicorn, grab this sword man, I'm gonna roll. Swordman, Lava Shaman. Okay, I don't want to star you guys up like this, but I'm going to. Swordman, Lava Shaman, rolling again. Tusk. I could grab another Tusk, but I don't think I'm going to get a three-star Tusk. In fact, you need to go here. You can go here. I don't want to win right now. The reason I pulled Tusk off the board is because I can't be winning. I can't have two-star units out there and, and have me start winning a bunch of rounds. Swordman, selling you. There we go. Our Swordman's going to level here. We've still got over 50 health, uh, so we're okay, but we're going to need to stop the bleeding pretty soon. I got two two-star units out here. I still think we're going to lose. If we happen to win, we happen to win. I can grab another unicorn over here. Lava Shaman. I call for the beast of this That's now we're actually oof, we're getting dangerously close to winning around here. With all these units, oof. I'm gonna swap one. I just wanna keep I just wanna gain a little more interest from uh from losing, if possible. Well it looks like we're beating this this person, so there we go. Now that we broke our loss streak. I'm not going to be able to rely on it for money anymore. So I'm going to... We probably will lose can, you know, rounds in the future, unfortunately. But I'm not going to purposefully do it anymore. You know? Now that it's gone, it's gone. Oh, actually, are we going to are we gonna lose? Ooh. I would love to. Uh, I don't think this... Ooh! Could you beat us? Dude, if you beat us, that's great. I know that sounds weird, but I would love to continue this lost streak. Oh, great news. This was great news for us. I know it seems weird, but it's such a small loss and we continue our lost streak. That's a really wonderful loss. <laughs> sounds so weird to be talking about it like that, but that's a great loss. All right. I don't think we're going to get a three-star tusk, but it's not impossible, but I, I just think I'm going to have to sell them to make room for other people. I don't even know why I grabbed this unit in the first place. I do not care about starring you up. Sorry. Sorry to get your hopes up. I might be red, but I ain't shy. Okay. So let's see what we got here. We got a unicorn we can sell. And we've got Tusk being moved up possibly to three stars at some point. And now our health is going to dip pretty low so we're gonna have to start making bigger moves here we can't lose so much health that we're in a danger zone of losing every round so i'm gonna be spending a lot of gold soon in the attempt to grab the rest of the three star units we need i would love to get a three star skull hunter lava shaman sword man basically all my dudes man friendship is strangler vines and deadly nightshade one punch, that's all it takes. Wow, I guess we might get a three star tusk at some point. I'm gonna put this tusk out here instead of you. Oops. Instead of you. I think we're gonna win this with all these two star units, but you never know. While it's happening, ah, strange egg, can't take you. Sorry, you're not a two cost unit. Okay. Red Axe Chief, Swordman. I mean, these are the people I'm really looking for, these cave units. Specifically Swordman and Lava Shaman. I would love a three-star version of them. 
And I'm going to need to start getting items soon. I want ability damage items because that's what I want to increase is Lava Shaman and Swordsman, Swordman's ability damage. But I'm not finding a lot of good items for that. I'm going to need to buy my items soon as well. We got a Magicka Staff. I definitely want that. And I'm going to pair that with a Magicka Crystal. I'm just going to get that on one of my ability guys. And then what else do I got here? I could take the Dracula Mask. I could also take... I could take the Rune Hammer as well. That's not too bad. Hmm. Let's see. Don't need Goddess. Skull Hunter. Another Tusk. Lava Shaman. Alright, at this point... Panda's gonna go. There's a possibility I win this round just with what's on the board right here. And if I do... I do. That's okay. Lava Shaman. Earth is shaking. Lava is howling. I'm probably going to need to drop our unicorn here. In fact, I'm going to. I'm just going to move on. Swordman. Another tusk. Who do I get rid of? Hmm. I guess I don't get rid of anyone currently. Next round, I'll go up to level 6, so another unit's going on the board. And we might start winning. And it looks like we... It's getting close. Yeah, we're going to win this one. So, our lost streak is over. We are through the woods. And now we are not going to intentionally lose. <laughs> we could still be losing. But we're not going to do it on purpose anymore. I promise. Okay. Let's see. we got to get our Lava Shaman out there. Sorry, Goddess. You got to go. And we can get... Oh, we already got Tusk out there. I'll get... Eh, Tusk is pretty good, but I can get another sword man out there. All right. Red Axe, Chief, Unicorn. Ooh, actually, I will swap my other sword man for this. Unicorn just gives me uh, the ability to... Sorry, I'm like <laughs> trying to think <laughs> while I'm doing what I'm doing. It just gives us uh, our beast synergy there. I, I could see this two-star sword man being better, but either way, it's something. Okay, so we got our Lava Shamans down here. We got a lot of people we're looking for. We got over 50 gold. At the start of next round, I'm going to be rolling. Just uh, the reason it's going to be at the start is so I can place units on the board if I need to, uh, you know, put over the max for a second so I can hopefully star up some of these people. But we're looking for three stars of everybody we've got here, essentially. Let's see. Nobody. 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 <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> wow. There's our Lava Shaman. There's our Sword Man. We got a Red Axe Chief. Do I got time? I don't think I do have time. Let me try it. I don't even know who I'd really be able to work out here. I'm going to have to remove you. And I think to be smart, I have to pull... Uh, I don't like pulling any of my cave units, but I think I'm going to pull you and get Swordman. Because Swordman's just, he's one of the ones, you know? He's one of the big ones that we need. Swordman and Lava Shaman are going to be our go-tos here. We lost that one. Not a big deal. I didn't expect that we're going on a win streak, so... I grab here. I could grab Rune Hammer. I also, I know at some point I'm going to take what Cattle Hide gives me, but then again, if I find a Cattle Hide earlier, later, I definitely want to put Lucky Coin on it. So I guess I'm going to wait there. And here, uh, I'm going to wait. All right, Skull Hunter Unicorn. Let's see what I can do. Friendship is magic. I am Come on, Jake. Hunter or hunted, your choice. Skull Hunter again. You can't stop the cave clan. Sword man. Fury. That's our three-star oh. sword man. Oh, I feel dizzy. Oh, I almost, <laughs> I almost got it. So we got our three-star sword man, and that's not bad. And we're still looking for three-star of our other cave units. Uh, specifically, the ones I'm really interested in is Lava Shaman. But all of them could be three-star units for us. You know, we're going to need tough units around to have any shot at winning. Our health is at 32. I know we're really getting down to it, aren't we? Nature 
All right, I'm going to put this unicorn back out of here. Give us that beast synergy. And for now, I'm going to move all of my items onto uh, our three-star dude here for sure. Let's see. Mm, this is a creep round, so I'm actually going to sell that unit really quick. I'm going to get us ready to hopefully move into having a three-star... Tusk, Lava Shaman, and maybe Skull Hunter very soon. But our health's really low. So we got to find these fast. Luckily, a three-star Swordman is a good unit. It's just he's not going to be able to survive. I might... You know what? I might I might recruit Marine uh, as part of this. All right, yeah. So I'm going to take this... What did I get? What was the item I got? Okay, dagger. Cattle Hide Armor. Lucky Coin. And... Probably do life crystal actually. Yeah, I'll do life crystal. Okay. So what I want is this. Put that on you. And I want this. And we can do this. You got everything? Great. Red Axe Chief. At some point I'm gonna need Abyssal Crawler and stuff like that, but for now I just really want these cave units. I'm gonna have to roll harder. You have to roll a lot harder to make this work. Three-star sword man, though. I mean, look at him do some work. Woo! Good for you, buddy. All right, we're not in eighth place. <laughs> if we can, if we get up to fifth again, I mean, this is just going to be the video. I, I can't keep <laughs> trying this terrible, terrible build. I don't need to get first or anything with a build, but I would like to see if I could get it into the top four. That's usually where my brain's at. Like, is there a way to top four this build? All right. We're going to be rolling. We just need one more Red Axe Chief, actually. One more Red Axe Chief. That would be nice. Okay, a Tusk. One punch. That's all it takes. Here's our Red Axe Chief. Not bad. Okay. And... Do I keep rolling? That's the question. I've got 32 health. I'd like to keep the gold. Do I need to keep rolling? Now that I have two three-star units on the board, is it necessary to continue to roll? We'll find out. I mean, if this is a crushing defeat, then yeah, I should have rolled harder. I like keeping the interest if possible, just because I'm going to need it to find these units. And then once I have them... I'm gonna be moving up. Uh, once I have Lava Shaman, I can move on without Tusk and Skull Hunter and hopefully find them at some point. Lava Shaman's really the one I want. Once I have a three star version of him, I think I'm in pretty good shape. At least, you know, not in dead shape. Ooh, we ended a win streak. There we go, three star Tusk, not bad at all. Um, pushes the, yeah, do I want that? I don't really want that on you, to be honest. I'm going to take this. Definitely going to give you more ability damage. And I'm going to put this on you. And this on you. Man, PlayStation, your controls are terrible. I don't blame PlayStation. Some people ask if I blame PlayStation. I really don't. I blame the developers of this game. <laughs> <laughs> As I do every video. All right, so this three star, these three star units are doing some work for us. It's a lot better than what we had before. Um, we're still gonna get beat by much better builds, and you know everyone's level eight right now. So one person's level nine. We're level six, so we are, we're also at a huge unit disadvantage, and that means we're at a huge synergy disadvantage. We really need to get things moving soon, but I want to grab the units I want to grab. I'll grab Magic Crawler. What do we need to do? Unicorn. Guard. Welcome to the Marine. Hmm. Hmm. We need one more Lava Shaman. I'm gonna roll. That's a Bizzle Guard. Who I want? I used to be a painter. Then I took an arrow in the knee. Nice. All right. There's a three-star Lava Shaman. So. I can move on now. I think adding a uh, marine synergy in just to keep us alive through some magic damage is probably smart. We're going up against one mage. We're going up, you know, let's see. 
Maybe it doesn't, maybe I don't need it that bad, really. Maybe I just actually should uh, go for Warrior, which I get from Abyssal Guard as well, but. Okay. Give a little over here to our dude. Crawler. I don't want to grab you, but I don't want to not. I'd rather keep my interest right now. I'm above 50. I'm going to need to start leveling, too. We're only at level 6, and we need to get uh, at least to level 8 before I can get another synergy out there. If we get to 8, I can drop Beast, and I can put in... Uh, right, because that would be 4 Warrior. Yeah, I could get us up to 6 Warrior. That wouldn't be bad for us, especially considering we're only, I guess, against one person who's using a ton of magic damage. He's going sort of that human dragon... Mage. Okay. Let's see. Well, this will help my magic against magic damage as well. Let me grab that rune hammer. I'm just going to take that. Give us a python wand. I'll also give us... Uh, you know, I don't even think this is that good, but we just got a ton of them. I'll put another one on Lava Shaman here. Okay. There's a Skull Hunter. Unicorn. Whisper Seer stars up my unicorn. And now I need to level. I feel like it's just I have to. I have to, I have to, I have to. I'm going up against people with way too many units, which means they're out synergizing us at least. We'll see how this goes. I think we might get into the top four with this build guys I, I really do these one and two star units just going to town i kind of i'm figuring out the loss streak of it a little bit better just realizing when i kind of need to just put my foot on the gas all right we're gonna roll a little High five. High there's our skull I'm hunter sorry. crawler I'm gonna level, throw down you. So the druid's only here to help us, uh, oops, to help us grab more uh, unicorns and get them to three star. I don't know if unicorn's gonna stick around. It would be nice, you know, beast synergy is just nice to have, but I think it would be more important to have six warrior than it is to have four, you know, three warrior, uh, two beast, I think. Because a lot of our damage is going to come from Lava Shaman and Sword Man doing their, doing their darndest, really. Ended another win streak, huh? Nice. We're doing okay. Uh, uh, I don't need Stone Spirit. Who's going to be my sixth warrior? I haven't even thought about that. I'm going to swap you. Maybe move you more like that. Okay. We're at level seven. We need to be at level eight. And I'm just thinking, who would be my sixth warrior? Who else am I able to grab? Would it be Stone Spirit? Oh, it could be God of War. Yeah, that's it. Stone Spirit or God of War are the only warriors that can make that work. Oh, I have to have both. I have to have both Stone Spirit and God of War. And I wasn't really thinking about that. I gotta grab both those guys. I might want to start rolling and grab them, actually, before my level makes it harder to find them. But yeah, I need both of them to make this work. I can't believe we're on a win streak right now. Where did this come from, right? I also could get Marine out there. I just It just depends on if I feel like I'm going up against a ton of magic damage or not, which I really don't know if I am. Definitely Listen, taking Abyssal Crawler. Magic can't show. What do we need to do? Don't need you. There's God of War. Killing can save a life. Hmm. Trust me. One more. Okay. Mm hmm. 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 Trying to think about what's the smartest thing to do here. I don't see a ton of magic damage coming at us, so I don't know if this marine thing's even going to be that beneficial, but I, I think it's going to be warrior. 
because we're going up against this person, which is Hunter. This person, Hunter Feathered. This person, Knight. Like, not a lot of them are pushing a ton of magic damage at us in general. I think it's going to be Warrior. And then after that, I don't think we're going to get to level 10, but hey. If we do... Grab Panda. The reason I grab Panda there is... Uh, if I push us up to level 8 and I don't have my warriors to put everything together, I'll just throw a panda out there to help me grab extra units, you know, in case I can, he can grab me something to sell. Unicorn might leave, and then I'll just sell this unicorn. Abyssal Crawler also might leave. He might make it as well. For a moment. Now, still back to I really want... Uh, ability damage items for these two. Life crystal. Okay. And what do we get? Let's see. Well, this is the ability damage I want. But this is such an amazing item. I feel like I have to take it. I love this item. Getting the ice armor. I just think it's so good. Put a little extra health on you. Great. Okay. We're up at level 8. Right now, I got Panda out there. Abyssal Guard, Welcome sure. The Unicorn again. There's our Stone Spirit. Okay, so I might switch it up. And I might get Six Warrior out there. Lose our Beast. Woo! That was a nice win. Awesome. Awesome work, team. It's cool having so many three-star units. You know, you rarely get to see this many three-star units really doing their thing. So, that's fun to see. What do I need? One more unicorn, right? And that stars up my unicorn to three-star. I could just continue to use money. I mean, maybe at this point I'm going higher in level. Maybe I'm up at level nine. I didn't even think I'd be alive this long. Are there four of us left? Okay. There are four of us left. We made it to the top four, everybody. I'm going to continue to level here. So who could I be going up against? There's one mage I could be going up against. The other two are physical. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try to this swap. And this could be a mistake, but I'm going to give us our six warrior right here so all our warriors get plus 12 armor i'm just gonna see how this works out well we did go up against someone physical so that's that's a plus Woo! we're doing okay we are doing okay one and two cost units you you've cost me two matches in a row but right now we're in the top four we're feeling pretty good God, this, I love Shining Assassin so much. It's such, such a fun unit. Everyone's got to deal with this <laughs> guy. Just continually putting his shield on. All right. Let's see here. What do we got? Okay. He's almost stacked up. All right. Got us up to level nine. That means our unicorn goes back out onto the battlefield. I can put God of War kind of in the middle here. Now we've got six warrior, two beast, four cave. And really the only thing I would want is push us to level 10 and we get our Marine out there. And as otherwise, of course, I, I want, uh, you know, to star up as many more units as I can. But this is, we're coming to whatever the best version of this build possibly is that we've been going for. This is it. So, we're on a win streak. I mean, things are looking pretty good for us. I don't know if we're going to win this thing, but the, the only one I'm worried about is this mage. If this magic damage just comes through and bowls us over. There is our... Unicorn, that means you can go. And now, you know, I could I could definitely roll and try to star up Abyssal Guard, but I think I want to get Abyssal Crawler out there if I run into this mage and I have a lot of problems, so I'm going to level. 
and this will just give me that marine synergy. If we need to get to 10, I'll just spend the gold and get there. And we're going to find out how bad this ma magic damage is for us right now. It could be, could be pretty bad. Yeah, that Tortilla Elder. It might be really beneficial for us to get that marine out there. So I think that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to push us to... Take God of War, of course. I, God of War, boy. I I have to. Hex is an enemy to a penguin and gives a ton of magic damage. I mean, I feel like I gotta use that item, right? It's such a great item on Lava Shaman, especially considering we're going up against a mage, you know? Alright. Are we really winning this thing? I mean, I can't believe it. One and two cost units only. We're really doing it, everybody. Look at him. Look at him surround this dragon. He's like, I can't believe what just happened there. Turned into a penguin. Oh my goodness. What do we get? Come on, game. Uh, ability, life, steal. I guess I'll just take this because it's the only thing I can combine, right? Oh, I, I should have another python wand. I'm actually gonna remove an item like that give you one of these python wands so my two big guys don't get crushed by magic energy and there we go i got our marine out there we're going up against our final opponent this mage we'll see how much better we do with that magic uh resistance and our build's done i mean we're done 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 you're not going to get much better than this. Nice. Okay. Uh, and now, of course, we're looking for the units we have out on the board. Looking to star them up. I used to be a painter. Welcome to the Marines. One thing people always like about uh, Abyssal Guard is, you know, that he's going to jump all the way over to him. I'm going to swap you. Just try to get up there near that... Portola Elder. I'll move you. Let's get you. Kind of more, maybe more like that. Let's see what happens with that. Okay. Here we are. We're at the, we're in the end game now. All right. I'm Thanos, and I'm doing the most ridiculous snap of all time. You may only use one and two cost units. Thor's all upset because he couldn't cut my head off. All right. One more round. Let's see. Guard. Don't take the bait. I'm coming out. Killing can spoil rock. Let's roll. Welcome to the Marine. I would love to get this abyssal. Oh, I thought that was the abyssal guard right there. I was like, come on! We almost three starred him. It was the crawler. And that this should be the game unless he he's turned this round around somehow. This should be it. Yeah. Wow! We did it! Again, full disclosure, that's my third time doing this. The first one was just eighth place, I thought. I can't put that out there. Then I got fifth and I said, you know what, I'm just gonna put the fifth place out, even though I made some mistakes that I didn't like. I tried my best, but you know, I would love to put the first place out. So there we go. Only one and two cost units. Bad builds. Can we make them work? We finally did. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening, everyone. I'll see you next time. Mwah!